More on that breaking news from South Suburban Markham. Charges have now been filed against a man visiting relatives and brought luggage filled with body parts. WGN's Gaynor Hall is following the late developments in this gruesome story. She joins us live. Gaynor. Pat Micah heinous. That's what the police chief here is calling this. He says it started with a domestic assault that ended with a woman's death in Louisville. And a month later, her boyfriend is accused of bringing some of the dismembered remains to Markham in luggage. It was unbelievable. Hazel Brown was tipped off by all of the police cars yesterday. At the time, she had no idea what had happened at the house next door. You would never think it happened around you. Never. It all started in Louisville, Kentucky. Markham police say 30-year-old Melvin Martin Jr. boarded a Greyhound bus with a suitcase and bags. He arrived on Friday on a trip to visit his family at this home at 164th and Wood in Markham. Neighbors say he put the bags in the garage, guarding them. And when he went to the library, relatives looked inside. What they found, shocking. A coroner's autopsy was conducted today this morning which verified that the lower half remains was uh, transported here. Uh, we also have a human head and some organs. Markham's police chief says the victim is Martin's girlfriend. Her torso was found earlier today in a park in Louisville, not far from where they lived. Martin is now charged in Illinois as a fugitive fleeing prosecution, and he'll face more charges in Kentucky. He indicated that as grotesque as it might sound, that he still wanted to be with her, at least part of her. His relatives called police and Martin was arrested yesterday at the library and is now cooperating uh, with authorities. Authorities will be working to try to extradite him to Kentucky to face additional charges. And two Louisville detectives are here now working on this complex investigation. The victim's name has not yet been released. So that's the latest reporting live tonight from Markham Gaynor Hall, WGN News.